hello and welcome to my channel if you're new on here please subscribe turn on your notifications use the comment section to tell us what you think tell us what you'd like us to talk about in the future you know so this is my safe place of talking about all things life all things everyday life that's the whole point of it and so today i'm talking about limiting beliefs right before we go into be limiting beliefs I hope people are doing the right things, you know, you're still on the lockdown, you're staying at home, staying safe, exercising, eating well, you know, I always remind you all that and looking after each other. I need to because after this corona thing, we're not going to be the same people we were before, either positively or negatively. So I'm using it as my platform to remind you that. limiting belief control our lives we've let people opinions control our lives we're not living to our best whatever because of that what are limiting beliefs anything that you believe in anything that is in here that is stopping you from achieving your dreams is a limiting belief my personal favorite one oh let me start with this one age <laughs> oh my goodness me anything you're like oh i'm too old for that oh i'm too old for that there's in fact i can i can honestly say that i don't think there's a point in my life where i thought okay uh i'm i'm of the right age oh i'm i'm young enough for this i've always been like i'm too old i'm too old i'm too old until i actually became too old <laughs> so age if you're using age it's really wrong of you because uh, there's this lady the 96 or something year old who is salsa ring yeah doing her zumba and stuff she's on youtube she's living the best of the best life possible there's this uh, other gentleman uh he's about a hundred years of, of age or something like that he's still competing on the um, marathons and stuff i don't know there's some elderly type He's still doing all that. He's, he's doing his sprints. He's doing his weightlifting. He's so you can't use age as an excuse. Out of the window itself. My second favorite. <laughs> oh, disability. What it is, I lost my hearing about 10 decades ago or something. Yeah. So I'm hard of hearing. I use hearing aids. And with technology, that's so advanced, so good. Uh, my current ones, uh, uh, they, they, I use, it uses Bluetooth, so I don't even have to uh, connect to my phone and other, you know, old ways. It just connects me straight and I can speak. But I, for so long, I'd been using it as an excuse of, of not doing things. I'll be like, oh, I'm deaf. I used to actually say that, that I'm deaf. I, I don't know. I just picked it from somewhere where people all say, Oh, so you're deaf, so you're deaf. And I took it and ran with it. But it became a limiting factor. It it got rooted into my subconsciousness and I kept on using it. And I didn't know I'm just stopping myself from doing great things. So, for instance, if there was a job, I'll start overthinking. I'm like, Oh, goodness me, with my kind of hearing, oh, I probably can't uh, answer phone calls. I can't do this. I have an engineering background. That was my dream. That's what I wanted to do. But then after using all these excuses for so many years and overthinking everything, I ended up just leaving them. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's a third one, but that's I, I don't think it's my one. Gender. I'm female. I'm male. I can't do that because I'm female. I can't do that because I'm male. I've, I don't use that. I try not to use that. I do my own DIY. I, I'll do my decorating. I'll paint everything in my house. I'll, I'll, I'll breed stuff if I have to. I remember this time round, some years back, I had a triple bed. And I, I mounted it on my own, all of it. And all, the instructions was like, you, it needs two people to do it. And it was a metal one. It needed uh, three people, three people. And I did it on my own. I was just like holding on this side. I, I, <laughs> it's one of the things that you, when you sit back later and you're trying to imagine, how did I do it? How the heck did I do that? 
<laughs> so yeah that's another limiting uh, belief that uh, people use to and they hold themselves back my family i'm so lucky my mom brought us the same way uh our boys would be caught in the kitchen cooking and things like that um they'll do the cleaning in fact our boys used to do a lot more house chores than the girls it never bothered my mom she thought it was the right way to eat something good she did uh, to us and i thank her for that so at the time when i was deciding my career when a lot, lot uh, years and years ago i was a lot younger i didn't think of it as a big deal that i, I had interest in sciences I, I loved you know my physics and i wanted to do something technical it didn't occur to me at all another belief a limiting belief really john i'm sorry if i'm stepping on your foot but if your religion is holding you back seriously we, we've been brought to this earth to live it to enjoy it but what was the whole point of us being here yeah if you it's stopping you from marrying the person you want if it's stopping you from loving the person you want for pursuing the career you like if it's stopping you from doing the things you love living your life to the fullest being your higher self isn't it about time to just review that? Okay, with limiting beliefs, it's not. It's, you don't just wake up and be uh, transformed and be a different person. You, it's you have to work from the subconscious level. Everything you, they say, if you invest in yourself, you invest in your future. If you have engineered smallness in your life. For you to go to your future, you have to leave the biology of your past. So you have to work day in, day out from the grassroots to take off this limiting belief and just pursue what you want in life. Go for it. Stop thinking about these things. Oh, I'm not educated enough. Oh, I'm not what? I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not that. They are stopping you from being your best self so if you're gonna take anything from this is that review all those things that are in your mind that are telling you why you're not doing certain things oh i'm in the wrong geographical area oh i'm in the wrong i don't know family oh i mean the... sit down and review all those things and work with them from there because our minds are really great they control everything anyway that's it for today i'd like you to comment on what you know about limiting beliefs what's limiting you how are you dealing with that and yeah thank you and bye cheers